All right, here we are with the icicle Christmas lights. Everything's looking really good right up to the very end. The last strand is out. So I'm going to spend a little time. I've marked some of these wires. Uh, I've already found the problem, uh, but I'm going to spend some time showing you uh, how these are wired and um, how you can troubleshoot them. Uh, so let's jump right in. All right, so let's start with the diagram here. Uh, what I'm showing you here is the last section of icicles in the strand, uh, which happens to be where my outage occurred. Uh, and this happened to be what I'm going to call, and someone can correct me here in the comments, the hot feed, a hot feed section. Uh, so what that meant was there was a hot splitter bulb that fed every icicle in this section. And of course, I'm not showing every you know single icicle um, and then terminated at the end, which with what I'm calling a neutral splitter that then fed uh, the pl the socket, uh, which you would have plugged into to go to uh, and plug in another strand of, of lights. So in this case, the troubleshooting was actually pretty easy. Once I identified that this section was fed off of a hot, um, all I had to do was just trace through with the voltage sensor until it stopped, you know, it stopped beeping. And then I knew I had found the fault and then you, you know, replace, you know, the bulb or check the bulb, push it in or out of the socket or, or whatever. Um, but the, you know, just kind of tracing through here, uh, to, you know, top down. So in this case, we had a neutral, uh, from the previous neutral splitter that fed all the way through and to the end. Uh, this hot also came from a previous hot splitter and fed all the way to the end. So you're always going to have kind of two uh, feed lines that just pass through and then your icicles are going to be one series continuous strand. They're, they're all twisted so it's kind of hard to tell but it's just one series continuous strand all the way through that section. Of bulbs. Here we are then on the beginning of the strand. Uh, so let me start out here. So this is just a basic voltage detector. Hot. Neutral. Okay. So what I've already determined is that this first section of icicles is fed by a neutral. And I trace this first. This is the control socket that has three wires in it. Uh, and I hit that wire. Well, sometimes you get a beep just when you make contact, but you hold it up against there, you got nothing, okay? Um, so that actually means that this pass-through is probably hot. No, that's not it. Where is it? Ah, here, this one. This is the, there's the hot pass-through, right? So that hot is coming, is fit, coming from that socket there. Um, so what you can do is you can go along this, this string, and the lights are on, but with the voltage sensor, you're getting nothing because it's kind of on the neutral side. But you will reach a point, and this is what is so confusing about these. I've shot this video a couple times here, you know, correcting myself and what I've said. Um, here's the here's the end of that line. So this is the end of the section that I'm saying is a neutral fed section. So let's put the voltage sensor on this last icicle. Well, that's hot. Well, what's going on here? Same section, I get hot. Same section, hot. Same section hot so what what is happening now let's keep going a little further new nothing so what happens is you reach a point and this is the section you reach a point along this line where the i guess the voltage is high enough that the sensor will uh detect it uh so definitely what you're not able to do like if this whole section were out is just go along the voltage sensor and you know precisely find you know, the fault. Uh, what you may have to do is pull the socket and actually check the voltage. So you would stick one lead of your multimeter in the end here and one lead in the socket. And you got to, the polarity matters, right? So this is a neutral fed section. So what that means is that when I pull the light out, I need to put my meter on the one end of the lead and then the other uh, meter, or I'm sorry, the meter on the one end of the socket and then the other lead on the hot. Okay, so let me show you how that looks. All right, so I've just pulled a, I'm going to pull a socket out here. Of course, the whole section is going to go out because every light in this section, and it's just this section that's out, um, is in series. 
So I'm plugged into the neutral socket and I say this is a neutral uh, strand. So let's hit it with the meter and see what reading we get. So I can't read that. I was trying to get it on camera. 52 millivolts is what I'm reading. And then I go to the other side, 120 volts. Okay, so that means the other side is coming from uh, the hot end. Now I'm gonna switch my lead here. I'm gonna go hot. So now, well here, let me switch no, I'll just leave it like that. So I'm going to put the blacks in the hot, but that's the hot end. So now let's hit the other end. And now I've got 120, right? So there's definitely hot coming from one direction and neutral coming from the other. Uh, but that's how you would have to troubleshoot this strand. You would have to start at the beginning where the neutral is, plug your lead into the neutral um, end here. Right, and then you would have to go long since the voltage sense sensor isn't um, there's not enough voltage, I guess, to do it because you're on the neutral side. You'd have to go in and start testing sockets, and you'd have to trace which end you're coming from. So, sort of bad luck on you know if you end up being having an outage in in the section that the voltage sensor will not uh, detect. But let's say you have an outage in the section where the voltage sensor will detect. Let's show you what that looks like. All right, so here we are on this last section, and this is where I had an issue. And I knew this was hot, right, because I, you know, this, I went up to this bulb, and I, everything was out, but I put the lead on, and I got hot. So I said, okay, trace that through, and that feeds this section. So this is a hot feed. Um, so I just started going through, um, and here, I'll go to, like, the se second section here of icicles, pull one out. But now I'll go to the section before that and hit it with the sensor. And I've got voltage there. So that means voltage is making it here. So let's go to the next section. I've got voltage there. Let's go to the next section. This is the section now that I pulled the bulb out of. Okay, I have voltage on one wire, but not the other. So that's where you got to look at these. So which vol wire do I have voltage on? I have voltage on that wire. So that wire comes from this way. So I, I, I know that's the feed wire. So that means somewhere in this series, and it's all twisted, but it's in series, one of these bulbs is out. So you can actually just start going down the line and find it, right? And obviously in this case, it's the end bulb. And my issue, by the way, was that the end bulb was loose. And that's what impacted it. But this is how you would use the voltage sensor to find that bad bulb. But then again, you will reach a point on even this, you know, hot section. So I'll go all the way to the end. Here's the here's the neutral uh, control bulb. So I'll go all the way to the end here. I'll pull out this one. So you would think, well, one of these should be hot. They're not, right? Because I'm on the neutral side of it. So if you're and I don't know if it's maybe halfway, a little further than halfway through a strand of icicles. And, you know, you got trouble. So you actually have to use the multimeter and no polarity of the lines. This is why people throw these things away because it's a huge pain. But that's how they work. Uh, so it's definitely worth trying the voltage sensor. And maybe you get lucky and your outage or your bulb issue is only on uh, you know, the hot section. And then one more little thing, I guess, about these bulbs, the way they're designed, um, there's no shunt in the socket. Uh, so the inside Christmas light bulbs, and I, I'll post the link here. I did a video on this a while back. If you pull the bulb out, the strand will stay lit up because there's an internal shunt inside the socket. There's a very pointy tip that disconnects that shunt when you plug the bulb, get, bulb in and connects it when you pull the bulb out. So that kind of gives those in, in, indoor lights two shunts. There's a socket shunt, and then of course there's a shunt in the bulb. And the way the bulb shunt works is sometimes if you've ever seen where a strand is lit up, but a single bulb is out, that means the filament in the bulb is out, but there's a shunt inside the glass bulb that is completing the circuit. Um, so that's sort of the difference between 
you know, indoor and outdoor lights. But that's how you troubleshoot these uh, icicle lights. It is a real pain. And I, I mean, really, the solution here is to probably just throw them away. So that's what I did to troubleshoot my lights. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll answer what I can to try to help anyone who's watching work through some Christmas light frustrations. Uh, but it is, uh, it is quite the process. Uh, it's, it's definitely the reason why people throw them away. So Merry Christmas, everyone.